I'm very excited to talk today about the future of agriculture. Small plot farmers. You may be surprised to find that over 2 billion people rely on small plot farms for their livelihoods. In Asia and Africa, small plot farms with less than 5 acres produce over 80% of all of the food that's consumed locally. The bottom line is that we rely on small plot farms to feed our growing global population. These farmers need the opportunity to invest in affordable and appropriate technologies to increase their income. My mission is to alleviate poverty by developing and creating extremely affordable, water-efficient irrigation solutions for small plot farmers. How I got here, what I'm doing, and what I've learned. So first, how did I become the CEO and founder of an international water technologies company? For me, the formative moment was actually in graduate school. Now at the time, I was a PhD student in mechanical engineering at Stanford University. I was teaching and learning alongside some of the smartest and most dedicated people I have ever met. But at the same time, I was filled with doubt. What was my purpose? And how was I going to use my strength in engineering and entrepreneurship to achieve impact on a global scale? I enrolled in a course called Entrepreneurial Design for Extreme Affordability. Now this course combines students from engineering and business into teams to develop real products for bottom of the pyramid customers. They sent me to Ethiopia to research the needs of small plot farmers and I arrived in the middle of the worst drought in 20 years. It was clear that if these farmers were going to lift themselves out of poverty, they needed a way to use their extremely scarce water resources as efficiently as possible to grow high value vegetable crops during the dry season. Now at the same time, agricultural water usage is growing unsustainably. Nowhere is this a bigger problem than in India and China, where over 80% of our fresh water is used every year for agriculture. So how is it possible that we're both using more water than ever before, while at the same time farmers are suffering from water scarcity? Well, one of the reasons is that farmers waste a tremendous amount of water with flood irrigation. Beyond being unsustainable, Flood irrigation also requires backbreaking labor and produces mediocre crop yield. We learned that drip irrigation is actually the most water efficient form of irrigation. Using a series of tubes to deliver water directly to the root zone of plants, drip irrigation saves up to 90% of water compared to flood irrigation. Drip irrigation regularly increases yields by 30% or more. And drip irrigation has been around for over 50 years. So why aren't small plot farmers using drip irrigation? Unfortunately, traditional drip irrigation doesn't scale down to the needs of small plot farms. It requires a high pressure pump, it's very prone to clogging, and it can cost $1,000 per acre or more. So we developed a drip system designed specifically for the needs of small plot farmers. It runs on low pressure, is resistant to clogging, and it costs three to five times less than traditional drip irrigation. The key is in our innovative laser manufacturing technology, which produces a precision hole in one side of low-cost plastic tubing. This results in a uniform microjet of water at every hole across the entire field. For these farmers, seeing is believing. When we do an installation, we always do it initially with the holes facing up. When we turn the system on for the first time, the farmer and his neighbors can immediately see the uniformity across the entire field. This is an incredibly important aspect of our technology. So in 2008, I left my PhD at Stanford and I founded DripTech. Since then, we've sold over 5,000 acres of affordable drip irrigation to small plot farmers in India, China, and Africa. More importantly, our manufacturing technology can be deployed anywhere in the world so that we can manufacture affordable, appropriate drip irrigation locally and reach millions of farmers. My team and I are now based here in Pune, India, and we're scaling up with partnerships from business, government, and the nonprofit and philanthropic sector. So along the way, I've had some interesting experiences and that have changed my perspective, and I'd like to share some of the things that I've learned. Don't be afraid to get your hands, and if necessary, your feet dirty. As a mechanical engineer, my biggest challenge is designing a product that I can sell to someone who makes only a few dollars a day. Now you and I, have plenty of disposable income and we can buy all sorts of things that we don't really need. But for a small plot farmer to, buy, to purchase something with their hard-earned money, it has to be perfect for their needs. 
Now, getting this right requires developing the highest level of customer understanding and empathy. And sometimes that requires rolling up your sleeves and building that farmer connection side by side in the field. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Always bring a prototype. So early on, I realized that the best way to explain our product was actually just to demonstrate it working. I started carrying a water bottle with a single line of tubing that would demonstrate the functionality of our product. This was so successful that now, every one of our field staff are issued one of our bottle demo kits. I've learned that having a tangible sample or demo, even if it's just a rough prototype, can overcome all kinds of communication barriers and greatly improve the quality of feedback and engagement from prospective customers. So always bring a prototype. Cultivate local talent. Local dealers, plumbers, and field staff are a key part of delivering the product successfully to our customers. Although they may have limited formal education, they are smart and they're eager to learn. By making our product and packaging simple and intuitive, almost any local can be trained to sell and install our product successfully. I've learned that products and, and services need to be designed not only for the end customer, but also for the entire value chain. I've come to believe that the reason most people are poor is actually because they don't make enough money. It's such a simple concept that at first I had trouble accepting it. If we want to lift these farmers out of poverty, we need to help them become better farmers. They need knowledge and technology to improve their productivity and make more money. And it's not just irrigation. Market linkages, weather and crop data, cold chain and post-harvest storage, microfinance, microinsurance, farm mechanization, the list goes on and on. When farmers are given the opportunity, they invest in their own prosperity. If there's one thing that I can leave you with, it's that small plot farmers are the future of agriculture and food security. The opportunities for both social and financial impact are enormous, but we're going to need hundreds of companies like DripTech to address the needs of small plot farmers globally. Together, we can use engineering and entrepreneurship to achieve impact on a global scale. Together, we can make prosperity an option for the next generation of small plot farmers. Join me.